how to drive red pink style race car. And the way you do that is uh, keeping a uh, an open mind a bit because when you're drawing these uh, laid-back cars, freestyle, a bit goofy, a bit fast, a bit cartoonish, a bit style, a bit stylish, <clears throat> uh, you gotta be uh, keep in mind. Uh, what sort of uh, proportion you want to keep? What are you trying to say with your piece? Um, Alan de Bouton, who I was listening to earlier today. Saying, mentioned them. You know, what would you, um, how would you feel today was your last day? You know, you know, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow. Whatever, you're gonna get abducted by aliens. You're gonna. Um, this was it. Curtains. And come uh, on, I. Th I think about that um, a lot, actually, but not in a, in a sense of a pessimism. Uh, some people believe that it's pessimistic to think like that. What if today's your last day? Here's the original drawing that I need, need to change. But um, what if today was your last day? So, what would you do? How would you live? I think I think my answer changes uh, daily, but not not drastically. But um, I know that um, you know I think of myself as um, as these videos are communicating to um, um, younger versions of me, and even some people who uh, to inspire this who haven't even been born yet. Because uh, I see the, uh, I'm not go crazy here. I see the challenges that um, that uh, many people have, and I'm pretty sure that uh, whatever question you may have or ponder about a a life choice, whether it's personal or business, uh, spiritual, ethical, whatever the hell spiritual is, um, ethical, but morality that maybe for a moment you think, man, I wonder if, um, I'm pretty sure this is a unique situation, but uh, no, I'm pretty sure from the, for the hundreds of thousands of years that mankind has been on Earth, that uh, someone else has possibly had a similar situation. You know, rare are the instances where like, man, I wonder how to create artificial intelligence, or I wonder what's the formula to getting something safely put on Mars, and that's, those are rare, 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 rare questions, but I think other questions are, um, have been asked before and uh, have had, have been put into action, the solutions put into action or, or experimentation. Make these videos thinking that, or well, believing that, um, you can save someone's headache. You can save someone's headache somewhere down the line. Yes, I get uh, grilled a lot uh, by. Um, what I call a, a stupid question. 
at times it is it distracts me for a day at times because they think, I mean, what's a, a what a dumb question? Like, why don't you get married and have kids? And uh, you know, get a get a nine to five, get an office job with AC and four hundred one k, and man, there's um. Knowing, remembering, reminiscing on the uh, highlights, the adventures I've had because of the past artwork that I've created, the past old artwork, not even as detailed or as what I call higher quality than this stuff. It's given me a lot of uh, cool things. And I believe that if I do, you know, now push out this better stuff, then I could. Uh, what else is there out there for me? Um, you know, on this YouTube channel, man, you, you don't know how much it, uh, it's bittersweet um, when I read uh, that uh, I inspired someone to draw again. I believe that a majority of us, majority of us, a lot of us, most of us, have a talent or skill that uh, someone else, somewhere in the world wants to know, wants to learn. And uh, we put so much doubt in our head that we're like, no, why, why? You know, I'm not good enough, I shouldn't be on YouTube, I shouldn't uh, make a blog about it, I shouldn't uh, make a Facebook fan art page, but but for the moment, fuck Facebook because I got a 30 day ban. But create a deviant art. No. That deviant art page. Those guys don't, uh, don't ban your hard work. Now, so far, that's the only profile that I have that has no, um, no, um, no strikes against it. But, uh, Lost my point here, but um, yeah, and don't be uh, so hurt. Uh, well, what have I done with my life? No, no, no. It's never too old. Never, you're never. If you're alive and kicking, just uh, no. Don't panic. It's uh, think. What else? What do you know? Or even, uh, what don't you know? What don't you know that you have an interest in? And uh, what can I learn about it? Uh, document your journey. I'm trying to think how to do this one here. Actually, the tires would be expanding a bit. And I really I've lost the focus here on what I was speaking about or just randomly sort of anyway. Um you know, it was a cheesy little speech I heard the other day that was um I laughed a bit, but it was, uh, uh, Mama, I liked it. It was a big urn, big urn 666. Him and uh, Shoe Nights have been, have a little few, little race in the bottom as to, uh, anyways, this guy made a, uh, uh, 
follow your dreams video. And, and the reason that I, um, and he spoke about how for four years he's been following his dreams and there's uh, progress and he, st and he still keeps on going. And um, with Alan's, Alan the Baton's talk about uh, don't think of the imposter. Don't, uh, don't doubt yourself. Don't think that because you're not that world-famous person that uh, you're subhuman. No, that famous bastard is also a human. That same bastard, you know, farts, uh, takes a shit, um, has doubts, doubts, has cried, has feared, uh, possibly has phobias, probably even has skeletons in his, in his or her closet. So don't, um, don't doubt yourself. Um, And after having met a good amount of uh, whatever famous people or celebrity, celebrities, whatever the hell that means, um, in some cases I lost respect for some of these famous bastards. But in other cases, I'm like, wow, that guy is fucking cool. But no, um, realize that uh, their success, that level of success, you can also experience it. It's a matter of uh, digging deep and making it happen. And, uh, it is, to me, it just disturbs me when I see people tap out, give up. Um, and that's why I uh, really enjoy the Marine Corps a lot. Actually, more now that I'm out because it, honestly, it sucks uh, being in there because uh, um, if you get your week and close down, se secured away, you put on fire watch for uh, making a mistake. But but you learn, you learn. Uh, the pay sucked. Um, you got some leadership that's good, some leadership that's like a big question. But, um, you know, no system is without their flaws and faults. But, uh, look, uh, to sum up my, my Marine Corps experience, I learned this from a seaman, a, a Navy a sailor. I actually learned it out here in the civilian world. He told me while I was adapting back uh, to, to the civilian life. This dog, you gotta, you gotta realize that both worlds are different, but none is better. She, you know, that almost. Uh, let me flip my lid there. That uh, um, s such simple words, but uh, I really, really like them because it, uh, it allowed me to sleep better at night. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, a definitely a different kind of momentum one has to uh, rely on or keep keep going in the civilian world that's not in the uh, in the Marine Corps world not just the military but especially in the Marine Corps world um, yeah in there I learned what cold is <laughs> cold I remember being in my underwear in the t-shirt uh, doing push-ups in the snow. Um, that was the whole damn platoon, though. Uh, running around the army, the army goof troop, with their little beanies and gloves as we were in our uh, little running shorts and t-shirts. 
not flying around. But yeah, that's, uh, At times, uh, I forget how much uh, energy, how much I'm capable of. Um, and I start to, um, to run slower today, push a little lighter, push a little slower, but I'm like, man, it's, it's, um, Again, it's up to me to uh, uh, stay motivated because uh, the reality is uh, no one else is going to achieve the dreams that I want to form for uh, for me. Um, other people, you, know, you, you're busy living your own life your way, and as you could tell, I got hands and you can't see my feet, but. You know, I've got hands and feet and electricity, room and board that I could uh, make things happen. So, um, you know, there shouldn't be any, any excuses for me or for anyone else. I mean, not for anyone else, but, you know, if, you've ha if you have those, those simple, those basic things in life, I think... Um, I think much is possible. I ran out of things to say, so. This line, I'll make this line. I think I'll make this line straight here. What if I curve it? If I curve it, it looks more crazy, right? If I curve it, that's right if I'm like curving it now. Curve this line over here. Yeah, that would that would look better. I see some of these other cheesy uh, YouTube channels. Yes, they're more popular. Yes, they have more subscribers. Yes, they have more views. But I think they they overlook the. Uh, the answers. I think a lot of art students and people are looking for it is um, because technique is it, all this that I drew here. All this is just practice. Me sitting down drawing a bunch of uh, stick figures, cars, tracing, watching cartoons, um, uh, uh, paying attention to billboards, uh, magazine ads. Uh, comic books, DC and Marvel, Image, okay, that's the easy stuff, but, um, it's having the mindset to say, hey, you know what, hey, sit down and draw, um, and that's what I'm telling you, if, uh, whatever it is, your profession, your hobby, your education, educational goal, um, whatever it is, man, drown yourself in that information, absorb it, be a sponge, um, locate all the experts in that field, ask them if uh, you could uh, join their office pro bono, you know, go sweep their floors and learn, if you just learn and observe. So, you want to learn you want to be in, a, and I'm pretty sure all you guys want to be in some sort of field. And why not seek guidance from people that are already in it to uh, to 
to get the momentum going. And uh, look, realize this. Look, me at one point I was told, uh, no, I don't want you to tattoo me. You know, he, you know, he can't draw, referring to me. And uh, I could have said, ah, oh, you know what, that girl's just being a bitch, you know. She doesn't want me to tattoo her. She's being racialist. No, she had a point. She had a point. Out here in the really, really real world, there's no safe space, there's no, uh, uh, no one cares if you're triggered out here. I don't care if you're triggered out here. Um, a lot of guys will not tell you this that especially male bosses male entrepreneurs is that they they get real nervous hiring women because uh, you know we can't make those you know fart jokes sex jokes uh, some sort of sexual remarks on a, on a sexy ass customer walking in or a smelly ass customer walking in People get nervous around working around female staff, but I think it's because uh, at times we're taught to 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 believe, uh, you know, if you don't if you don't think like Disney version kids, then something's wrong with you. You're a pervert. And you know why I like freedom of speech? Because uh, that's what creates this artwork that I'm doing here. My choice to draw this. What if it was a law to? I could only draw unicorns. Could you imagine how boring this stuff would be? If I had to draw a certain way. All you guys would dislike and unsubscribe. No doubt. But, um, no, but that applies to both men and women actually. Because I've seen guys uh, become the white knight and be like, you know, you shouldn't be talking like that. And uh, when the uh, tribe has spoken, you'd be surprised how many, uh, how many guys, especially the men, disagree with you but because they know that it's better to play ball quietly that they'll survive and not get into any politically incorrect discussions. But, um, like, you know what, um, I don't believe anything should get in the way of logic. Um, um, you know, for too long we've, uh, One day is enough for us to be uh, not uh, speaking about things that uh, we can improve on, whether it's uh, obesity, whether it's um, our tendency not to um, to overspend, buy bullshit, uh, not demand the most out of ourselves. That. Uh, in America, not well, not just America. In the Western Hemisphere, we just were getting fatter, lazier, less innovative, less thinking less. You know, there's an app for that. Um, I don't have to think more. I just need to drink on the weekends because um, why? Why do I need to um, study study something new? Why? You know, don't don't do that. You know. maximize your creativity, your talent, mm. 
your being. There's just there's no excuse today in 2016. Uh, there's an excuse if you want to be an excuse, but don't. Uh, Lost my point again. I'm trying to think where this goes. Up here. I need to look at the tread of um, the tire to see what the patterns are because I've seen some that are. different shapes. Don't uh, don't have that look it's okay to have <laughs> to have that logical doubt in yourself. For example, I'm not gonna tell you uh, you know that you could jump <laughs> jump across the uh, Grand Canyon. I'm not going to be some idiot and tell you, you know what, that's negative thinking. Don't believe that you cannot jump across a Grand Canyon. Um, no, you could think, um, man, you know what, it's true that I cannot jump across the Grand Canyon. What can I do to make that happen? Rocket suit or catapult, some sort of adventure, right? But That's a weird example that I got lost in, but uh, yeah, uh, there's careful with, uh, with the doubts. Don't I'm trying to do your best not to plant doubt in your freaking head. It's also, I think, a balance between being humble and uh, being cocky or arrogant. Also, um, think a lot about uh, good friends of mine, great people that I met. And even though some of them I lost communication with, I know that uh, I keep going in case I bump into them again in this uh, small world. To uh, share with them my, uh, my rewards, my success.
That's it for now.